morning students. Welcome to summer one. My name is Mrs. Mercado and I am going to be your instructor for payroll and business tax accounting. Okay, so this short orientation that I'm going to be going over right now is a short overview of how my course is structured in Blackboard as well as how to access Cengage. Okay, so I'm going to go through some of the information that I think you need to start um, setting up your accounts and start working on your assignments. This is a summer session, which means we only have five weeks to complete. Well, usually we cover in about a 16, 17 week time frame. Okay. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, access my Blackboard. All of you should know how to access your Blackboard by now. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go into my course. Okay. For payroll. Okay. So once you're in my course for payroll, um, you're going to have a lot of information. Okay. I um, require that all students go through all of the information in the start here tab before you start working on any of your assignments. Okay. Why? Because you need to know what is expected of you. Um, you need to be aware of your syllabus. You need to be aware of deadlines. You need to be aware of a lot of things before you jump in into your assignments. Okay. So I'm going to start going through the information. Uh, I'm going to go over at a high level overview. Um, you need to go back and review all of this information in detail. Okay, I don't have the time to just go over everything in detail. I'm going to let you all do that on your own time. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the setup of my class. Um, you have my contact information. My name is, like I said, Mrs. Mercado. It's a great pleasure having you in my summer course. Okay, my office is in Star Campus. Now, during the summer, I teach online classes only, so I will not be in Star Campus. All of my um, office hours are going to be online, okay? Uh, but we just have to post our office information. My office information when I am in a regular semester is in Star Campus, and that is my office telephone. Now, because I'm not in my office, you can't reach me there. So what I'm doing is I'm giving you my mobile information, okay? My cell phone number. You can either call me or text me if it's some kind of an emergency, okay? And this is the number where you can reach me. Um, and like I said, uh, this is more of an emergency basis where you need to get a hold of me immediately. Um, usually how students communicate with me is through Blackboard messages and I'll show you that in a bit. But if you do need to speak with me, uh, make sure that you, uh, you can call me during my office hours at this phone number right here at my mobile phone. Okay. I've included my email address and my office hours. My office hours are online and they're going to be Monday through Thursday from 1030 to 1130 AM. If you need to speak with me outside of my office hours, send me a Blackboard message. Let me know, Miss, I need to talk to you. Um, can I talk to you at 3 o'clock in the afternoon? We'll schedule a time and an appointment, and then we can call. We can do the call or, or um, do whatever, I, you know, you, we need to, to be able to get your information, okay? Now, the first thing we have is the orientation, which is what you're listening to. So make sure that you listen to the orientation in full. The next thing we have is essential course information. You have information about myself um, at the very top. That way you get to know a little bit about me. I do have uh, a certificate, an accounting clerk certificate from STC. I've got an Associates of Applied Science um, in Business Administration from STC. I've got a bachelor's and a master's in accounting. And I am currently pursuing my PhD in Business Administration with specialization in organizational leadership. Okay. I'm about done with my PhD. Hopefully I'll be done with it pretty quickly, pretty soon. I'm in my final uh, dissertation stage, so I'm pretty excited. And just like you, I'm very busy, you know, having to work full time and having to go to school. Okay, so I know how you all feel. Okay, I've been working here at South Texas College since the fall of 2014. I teach both online and regular classroom instruction. Um, and I hope I can you know, be of any help that you might have during the semester, okay? Now, I am very strict. Uh, I have very clear deadlines. I don't accept late assignments unless there is a valid excuse. If there is a valid excuse, it is the responsibility of the student to contact me, the instructor, and let me know what's going on. Okay? I'm not a mind reader. If you stop coming to my class, then you stop coming to my class, you know? You need to let me know, hey, miss, this is going on. I've had situations where there's been deaths in the family. Uh, my students have had babies during the semester. Um, they've had to travel out on business trips, whatever the case might be. Okay? If something is going on in your life that's 
you know, stopping you from completing your assignments on time and it's affecting your uh, collaboration and your participation in class, please reach out to me and we can work something out. Do not wait until the last day of the semester to tell me your long story that day because at that point in time, I cannot help you, okay? So, um, this is just some general information. I'm going to let you all read that. Um, these are the objectives of the course. Basically, what we're going to be learning um, how to do. This is my course structure. Like I said, you're going to go and you're going to go back and read all of this, okay? Now, before you attempt your assignments, it is imperative that you read, okay? So right now, I'll show you how my course is structured. Basically, my course is structured on weekly modules. Every week, my course opens on a Monday and it closes on a Sunday, okay? So you have seven days to complete your assignments for that week most of the time, okay? There's some assignments that close sooner than others, so you always have to be up to date. That's why I recommend that you always print out your syllabus and have it with you handy. But before you start working on any of your assignments, it is imperative that you read. You will have access to the ebook, the electronic book, with the purchase of the Cengage Unlimited. Okay? Um, that is required. You do need an ebook or a textbook. Um, we'll also be using the Cengage platform, which is where we complete all of our assignments. That's where you complete your homework, your quizzes, your projects, and your tests. You need access to Cengage now for my class. That is a requirement. Okay? Now, for your Cengage assignments, you're going to have homeworks and quizzes. For your homework assignments, you're going to have two tries for each homework. Um, the assignments are not timed. You can take as long as you want. You can save your work and you can resume it at a later point in time. Just make sure that you do submit it by the de deadline. Okay, so that's for homeworks. You can take as long as you want on it. You have two tries. I keep the highest grade. Now you also have quizzes. For the quizzes, I also give you two tries. Okay, but the quizzes are timed. Once you click on the start quiz button, you have 60 minutes to complete it, okay? So you have two tries on the quiz. They're timed for 60 minutes. I keep the highest score, okay? Now, I highly encourage that if you did not attain a 70% or greater on either your quiz or your homework, you use the second attempt provided to try to increase your grade, okay? Now, the more practice you get, the better. This is accounting. This is not a class where you can just... Uh, wing it, you know, where you can just guess. It's multiple choice based. No, my class is not multiple choice based. My class is workout problems. Okay, we're doing payroll. We need to learn how to calculate payroll, how to do different tax forms, payroll registers, journal entries. It's application based. Okay, so in this class, don't expect to just sit back and guess your answers because I have four choices to select from. That is not the case in my class. Okay, so it is very important that you practice as much as you can so you can be prepared for your tests. Okay, um, now it's very important to mention if you do not complete an assignment, you will not have access to the feedback. Okay, you must. Um, what happens is I open the, assi the assignment Monday through Sunday. Okay, on Sunday at 11 o'clock at night, the homework and the quiz closes. Okay, the solutions will become available maybe 15 20 minutes after that. Okay. Once um, the assignment closes, the solutions will become available, the answers will become available, so you can review, you can see what you got right, what you got wrong, and you can practice, you can ask questions, you can clarify any questions you have. Now, in order to be able to get those answers to your assignments, is you must have attempted the assignments and the problems. If you do not attempt it, you're not going to have anything to review. Okay, so it is critical, very important that all assignments are completed. Your exams are also going to be on Cengage. You do have two tries on your test. Every test that you take or every test attempt that you take will be different. Same concepts, different dollar amounts. Okay, I will keep the highest grade earned. Okay, and like I said before, if you don't get a 70% or better on the first try, please use the second try to try to improve your grade. I always keep the highest grade earned, okay? Now, all of the problems in your tests are coming from your homework problems, okay? So what does that tell me? Well, that tells me, if I were a student, that I need to complete my homework problems, okay? So the homework problems are intended to help you um, develop the necessary skills 
um, and knowledge in specific areas so you can be able to complete your exams and master them, okay? You're gonna have one semester project at the end of the semester. In this particular class, we are only covering six chapters. So it's um, six chapters of a lot of content. After we finish the six chapters, we're gonna have a project, okay? The project will also be on Sengage, and you'll also have two tries on your project, okay? Now, this is a textbook that we're gonna be using. It's the 2020 edition. Uh, with payroll, every year we have a brand new textbook because tax law changes continuously. So we have to keep up with the trend, okay? So every year we have a brand new edition. This year we're in 2020, so we're using the 2020 edition. Now, you do need access to the Sengage Now Lab, okay? Sengage is offering a product called Sengage Unlimited, where for $119.99 per semester, you can have access to unlimited textbooks, okay? So, if during the summer you're maybe taking uh, business principles, payroll accounting, and introduction to accounting, that's three classes right there. If you're taking those classes, we all use Sengage, you just have to pay $119.99 once, and you'll have access to all of your resources, okay? So what that Sengage Unlimited Access gives you, it gives you access to the ebook, to the Sengage platform, and to a variety of other resources for the students, okay? If you wanna request a printed copy of the book, you can do so for $7.99, okay? But this is the book that we're needing, and yes, you do need access to Sengage, okay? And this is just some general information. If you need any technical support, you have that information down here, okay? So let me go back to my start here. Um, then we have the syllabus, okay? I've included the syllabus in PDF format and in Word format in case you don't have PDF in your computers, okay? So let me open up the syllabus, okay? I am not gonna go over every, the 11 pages of the syllabus. I'm just gonna highlight some of the information. The top part of my syllabus has my contact information. The bottom part of the syllabus has my chair's information in case you need to contact them, okay? And here you just have some course information. Here you have the textbook information, which I've already covered. Um, it's payroll accounting 2020. Now this, I do wanna cover. This is my uh, grading scale. This is how I grade, okay? So for this particular class, your tests are gonna be worth 60%. That's 600 points. Your homework assignments is gonna be worth 20%. That's 200 points. Your semester project is gonna be worth 10%, that's 100 points. And your quizzes are gonna be worth 10%, 100 points. Now, at the end of the semester, this is what you're gonna be looking at. How many total points do I have? If you have between zero to 599 points, you're getting an F. Between 600 and 699 points, you're getting a D. 700 to 799 points, a C. 800 to 899 points, a B and 900 to 1,000 points and A. I do not grant extensions unless under extreme circumstances where the student has communicated with me. There are no makeup assignments, no makeup tests. My deadlines are clearly stated. You need to keep up with them, okay? It is important that you log into Blackboard daily. Okay? I post announcements, I post messages, I post reminders. Keep up with everything by logging into Blackboard daily. Attendance policy, this is an online class. I can't really monitor your attendance, uh, but you are required to complete your assignments. I'm not gonna tell you when to log in, that is up to you. I just know that if you know, you're not participating or completing your assignments, it is the student's responsibility to drop the course. I do not withdraw students from my class, okay? If you did not participate all semester, you stayed in my class, you made an F, I'm gonna give you an F. I'm not dropping you. So it's very important that you, the student, keeps up with the assignments, and if you're not gonna keep up with the assignments, you're not gonna be participating, then you need to initiate and complete the drop process, okay? So this is just general information. I'm gonna let you all read. If you have any type of disability or need any uh, special accommodations, you find the information here. Uh, this is just the course structure which I had already gone over about reading before you attempt your assignments and all of your Cengage Now assignments, okay? So all of this we've already covered, okay? Now, some common questions and answers I get. Okay? What is the best way to communicate with me, with the instructor, okay? 
okay? The best way to communicate with the instructor is through Blackboard messages, and I'll show you in a bit how to do that. That is my preferred method of communication because everything stays within the course, okay? So if you need to contact me, let it be through Blackboard messages. If you need to speak with me, then send me a Blackboard message, tell me what day and what time you want to talk to me, and then we can schedule that call, okay? Um, what is the estimated time it will take my instructor to respond to my Blackboard messages or emails? Um, I usually check my emails and my Blackboard messages Monday through Friday, okay? So I tend to respond fairly quickly, okay? I do not check my emails on the weekend. The weekend is my weekend, I'm, I don't respond. If you send me a message on the weekend, I won't answer to the next available uh, business day, which would be the upcoming Monday, okay? So if you do need to contact me with questions, let it be Monday through Friday, okay? Uh, what are my expectations for my students? If I send a student a message, a Blackboard message or an email, I expect for them to respond to me very quickly as well. Just the same response that I have with students, students should have with me, okay? Don't ignore my emails. If I'm emailing you, it's because I need information, okay? So please communicate with me promptly. What technology requirements are needed for this course? Uh, this is an online course, so students do need um, access to a computer with a reliable internet connection to complete all of their coursework. Not having a computer or internet is not an excuse for students not to complete their assignments. Now, STC does has a variety of open labs and library services that provides its students. Now, we need to keep in mind that with all of these issues with COVID-19, Sometimes these services are disrupted, okay? Uh, we had, we've had to close down our open labs and our libraries in the past. Uh, so it is the student's responsibility, if we were to have another shutdown, that they still have access to a computer or an electronic device, okay? We, South Texas College, do not provide those to the student. The student needs to have access to a computer, an iPad, a laptop, whatever, to be able to complete their assignments, okay? I do post videos uh, going over some of the problems you're having for your homework. So you do need to have access to speakers or a headset to be able to listen to the content in those videos, okay? Um, so this is just some general information. What I've covered is the most important, uh, but just make sure you read through all of this, okay? Um, I will not tolerate any academic um, dishonesty. Um, if I find out that you're cheating, you're having someone else take your quizzes and your tests for you, that you're copying your homework problems from someone else, I will report you and you will be expelled from the college, okay? We are in a college setting. I expect nothing but the utmost integrity when completing your course, okay? So if I identify that you are, you know, cheating, um, you will be reported, okay? Now, cheating does not lead to anything good. Um, when you go out there to the workforce, you need to complete the job. So it's best that you try. Um, you know, I don't mind students working in groups and helping each other out, but learning the content and learning how to do it on your own is very, very important, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna get to the cream of the crop here. This is very important. Please print out a copy of your syllabus. I recommend from a student's perspective, what I would do is I would make myself a folder, put the syllabus at the very front, and highlight every week the items that are um, provided in the syllabus that they've been completed, okay? So, um, week one, you're gonna have your course introduction. You're gonna become familiar with how the course is structured. You're gonna create your account in Cengage, and you're gonna process a tutorial of how to use Cengage. After you do that, we're gonna go into chapter one. And then once we're done with chapter one, we're gonna do chapter two, okay? So the first week, you're covering two chapters plus the course introduction. These are the assignments that need to be completed the first week. You've got the intro to Cengage tutorial, chapter one homework, chapter one quiz, chapter two homework, and chapter two quiz. All of these assignments are due on Sunday at 11 p.m., Sunday, June the 7th, okay? Week number two, you're gonna have, or you're gonna cover chapter three. Okay, you're gonna have chapter three quiz, chapter three homework, and you need to start reviewing for your upcoming test number one. Now these assignments during week number two are due on Sunday, June the 14th at 11 p.m. 
Week number three, you have your first test. Now you need to be very careful. Test number one is only going to be available Monday, June the 15th at 8 a.m. all the way through Wednesday, June the 17th. So you have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday to complete the test. So make sure you mark your calendars, okay? The rest of the week, you're going to be working on Chapter 4 and Chapter 4 assignments, which include the, uh, Chapter 4 homework and Chapter 4 quiz, are going to be available till Sunday, June the 21st, okay? Week number four, you're going to start working or you're going to work on chapter five and chapter six. You're going to complete chapter five homework, chapter five quiz, chapter six homework, and chapter six quiz. You're going to be begin working on the semester project. Now, I've made the semester project available week four because I know a lot of you work, okay? So a lot of students use their weekend to get ahead. So I've made the assignment available one week earlier that way you can begin working on it. This project is not due till July the 1st, okay? So before you work on your project, make sure that you've completed chapter five and chapter six because these two items are due on Sunday. The project is just available so you can begin working on it and that is not due till July the 1st. You also need to begin reviewing for your final exams over chapters four, five, and six. The last day to withdraw is Wednesday, June the 24th, okay? The last instructional week runs from Monday through Wednesday, okay? Only three days. So on the last week, you're going to have your final exam available Monday through Wednesday. And you have to complete your project by Wednesday, July the 1st. Both the final exam and the semester project are due by July the 1st. No extensions, no makeups. So your assignments close on Wednesday at 11 o'clock at night. On Thursday morning, I'm waking up, I'm calculating grades, and I'm submitting final grades, okay? Now, these are the assignments that we're gonna be completing by chapter. These are the homework problems. Um, chapter one is just a general overview. There's no problems there. It just sets the tone for the rest of the chapters. Chapters two through six are application-based. We're gonna have a lot of problems there, okay? But these are the problems that you'll be seeing on your homework, okay? This is my grading rubric. This is how your quizzes, your homework, your tests, and your practice are um, graded based on, okay? So, um, for example, for the course intro in Chapter 1, your quiz is worth 16 points. Your homework is worth 15 points. For Chapter 2, your uh, quiz is worth 16 points. The homework is worth 37 points. Chapter 3... Your quiz is worth 17 points. Your homework is worth 37 points. So that's the case for chapter 3, 4, 5, and 6. The quiz 17 points. The homework 17 points. Test number 1 is worth 300 points. Final exam is worth 300 points. Project is worth 100 points. That gives you the 1,000 points for this class. Okay? So if you make between 900 to 1,000 points, you'll get that A, okay? So, very important that you print out your syllabus and you read it carefully. I've just gone over it high level here for you, okay? Now, how to access Cengage? If you click this folder, you'll find um, a video here. Let me see, right here. It's the beginning of the term and you need to access your course materials. Okay. So, so this is the video. Okay. So you can look at the video, and I also have a quick guide on how to access Cengage. And I'll go over this right now with you, but this is just supplemental information if you need it. Okay? So that's available for you there as well. Okay? Um, here we have a copy of our weekly schedule. That way you can always have access to it. These are the exam information. Your test will be online, and these are the dates that are going to be available. This is your point scale, uh, your grading point rubric, and how I'm gonna be grading the class, okay? Please, please print your syllabus, okay? Um, the next folder is just technical resources and support. If you need to get a hold of anybody here in the college, submit a ticket, whatever the case might be, you have the access there, okay? You've got additional information on Cengage. Students can either buy Cengage for one semester at 
for a year for $179.99 or for two years for $239.99. It is up to the student. They can purchase whatever is it that they need, but they do need Cengage um, access, okay? Okay, so now I've gone over um, the Start Here button, okay? Um, now I'm gonna go over my course content information, okay? Now every week, you're gonna have a folder pop up, okay? Now you're looking at my screen, um, so you have all of the, you can, I can see all of the information, but you will not. Every Monday, you're gonna have a new folder pop up. Week one, week two, week three, week four, and week five, okay? So let's look over week one. You're gonna click on the, uh, the week one heading that has an underline, and it's gonna direct you to a page, okay? Here, you're gonna have the chapter information, here we're going to cover two chapters, so we've got chapter one and chapter two. We've got the learning objectives for each chapter. These are the activities that you have to complete. You have to read each of the chapters, and then we have the PowerPoint presentations that you need to review. Okay. Now, I've, I also made videos to help you figure out some of your homework problems. The videos are right here, so you just put watch video. Um, play and you can do full screen if you want. Hello, you see? My name is Mrs. Mercado and I'm going to be your instructor for a um, It's videos and it goes over some of the problems you will be seeing on your homework. Okay, so I've got videos for homework. Now these are uh, pretty long videos, so I've broken them down into two for each chapter. So you'll have two videos for each chapter from chapters two through six. I did not do a video for chapter one because there's no uh, workout problems in chapter one. But from chapters two through six, you're gonna find two videos for each chapter. So make sure that you listen to the videos, okay? Now the videos are blurry, maybe the first one minute of the video and then the computer will adjust and it'll become clear, okay? So be patient, okay? And then below that, you'll find the assignments that need to be completed for that week. That way you don't miss anything. Okay, this is what you're gonna see every week, okay? So that was week one. Week two, we're only covering, I'm sorry, that was week three. Uh, week two, you're only gonna be covering um, one chapter. Chapter three, so you have your chapter three where we're gonna be covering the objectives, the learning activities. You have to, uh, instructions to read the chapter, review the PowerPoints, and you also have your test number one review, okay? So I'm letting you know what's gonna be on your test, okay? So you can review, and I give you plenty of time for that. Then you have your two videos for chapter three, and then these are the assignments that need to be completed. So every week you'll have specific instructions within the folder, okay? Week three you have your test. I'm telling you here the deadlines for the test. We'll cover chapter four, you need to read chapter four, your PowerPoint, your videos, and the assignments that need to be completed, okay? That is how the course is structured. Discussions. Um, I won't have any discussions in this class, uh, so you don't have to worry about that. I will be posting announcements. Um, I post announcements every week, maybe two announcements. So this is where you would find your announcements, okay? And usually when I post an announcement, um, it would automatically create a message and will, it, it would be emailed to your email account that you have set up for STC. That could be your STC account or your private email. That's how you have your preferences set up with STC. Okay. Now, Blackboard messages. This is where you would need to contact me. If you need to contact me, you click Blackboard messages, create message, and then you can use this to communicate with me or communicate with your classmates, okay? You find my name, you move it over, and that's, these are the people that you're gonna be emailing. You put a subject, maybe um, need to schedule, call with you, okay? And then you put your message down here, okay? Um, and then you just hit submit. And I'll be prompted that I have a new message waiting. So this is where I recommend that you contact me through, through Blackboard Messages, okay? There's also an online chat. It's available. Um, 
but I don't use it as much as Blackboard messages. I prefer the Blackboard messages, okay? So, I've gone over very fast, you know, how my course is structured, okay? Now, I'm going to show you how to create an account in Cengage, okay? Let me change this to student view. In order to be able to access your uh, homework, your quizzes, your tests, you need access to Cengage, okay? So, to access Cengage, and this only needs to be done once, you have to create your account in Cengage, and then after you uh, create your account in Cengage, once you go into Blackboard and click the link, it will automatically redirect you to Cengage. You don't have to enter any credentials, okay? My course is linked to Cengage. The only way to get to your assignments is through Blackboard. You have to log into Blackboard, and from Blackboard, click the link to my payroll class in Cengage, okay? That is the only way to access my assignments. So, you're gonna go and you're gonna go to the Start Here tab, and you're gonna click on this little icon it has like the blue circular motion going on here, okay? Anytime you see this little uh, image here, that means you're going to be redirected to Cengage, okay? So you click on it, and let it, wait, let's wait for it to load. You will be prompted to uh, create your account in Cengage, okay? Now... Cengage offers a uh, free trial period. During a regular semester, it's two weeks. I think during the summer, they break it down or they reduce it to a week, okay? But um, right now, I'm doing this video before the semester ends, so it's still showing a 14-day a free trial. But I think that changes during the summer, okay? So this is what you're going to be prompted to, okay? So you have several options. You have options if you purchase an access code at the bookstore, you can register the access code here. So you're gonna click that button and you're gonna register your code. If you wanna purchase the Singage Unlimited with a debit or credit card, um, you can just click the button here that says buy from $119.99. Now, with your Singage Unlimited purchase, this is what you get. You get access to all of your courses, the digital ebook, a print copy for $7.99. You have access to Quizlets, to Kaplan, to Check, to over 675 Cengage courses for free. So if you wanna pay with your debit card, this is where you would click. Now you have the option of Cengage Unlimited, which is the cheapest option. If you wanna buy the See Now course with the loose leaf uh, book, you'll pay $305.95. And if you just need access to the See Now, the electronic access to the course, you'll pay 130. So if you see, it's much cheaper if you purchase the unlimited and it gives you a lot more options, okay? So if you wanna pay with your debit or credit card, you click that button, okay? If you already have your access code, you click this button. If you wanna use your free trial period, you just click here the, the, the button that says open course, okay? That's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna use the free trial period. When your trial period is about to expire, you'll get an email message letting you know your trial period is going to expire. Um, please, uh, you know, purchase the access, okay? And then you'll have access to your assignments, okay? So you'll have an assignments tab, a grades tab, okay? These are all of the assignments that will be completed. Um, they're not available yet because the semester hasn't started, but they will become available. And then you have your study tools. You just have three tabs up here. Um, if you need to access your ebook, it's under study tools and you have the ebook option right there, okay? Um, and you have a variety of other study tools here, study plans. Uh, feel free to go through this, click on it, um, and become familiar with it. I'm going to show you the ebook. Um, it's very user friendly. So here you have the ebook. Um, you start with the first chapter, you know, and you can read it, you can highlight. Um, if you don't like to read, um, or maybe have some kind of disability where you can't read, the, the ebook reads to you. So there's a little person here, like with a speaking, that's a read speaker. You click on it, 
um, it'll go ahead and you can set up your weed speaker so it can, um, you know, once you're weeding, um, you know, uh, this is the beginning of the chapter, you click on it. The Payroll Profession. A 2019 payroll survey of large employers conducted by Robert Half Associates so you see, revealed a range of It reads it to you and it highlights it for you. Okay. So as the reader is reading to you, it's highlighting what it's reading so you can follow along. Okay. So this is available for you. Okay. So now let me exit here. Let me exit the preview. And let me go in as my professor. That way you can see, I can show you. Um, uh, an actual assignment okay so let me go in there and show you an assignment okay let me do let me do chapter two homework okay now I'm gonna preview this as a student this is how you would look at your assignment okay so it tells you you have two tries and the due date and then you start the assignment okay this is a homework assignment okay these are all of the problems that you need to work on your homework Okay, it gives you examples on the top and then you're expected to work out the problem in the bottom. Now, in your homework, you have five check my work. What does that mean? You have five tries to fix your um, errors down here. If, the, if you entered an answer and it's correct, it's gonna put a little check mark, okay? If the answer is wrong, then it's gonna put an X, okay? So I'm just gonna put here whatever and I'm gonna put whatever number, I don't even know what I'm doing here. So you can see how it works. Okay, so I figured it out, I've answered it, then I'm gonna click check my work. You see, it marks two answers incorrect, it marks one correct. So now you have four more tries to fix these two answers, okay, until you get it right. If you don't get it right, then you're gonna move on to the next problem, okay? But you have five check my works for each problem, okay? You have access to the ebook from here. You have access to the calculator. You can print this problem. Or if you find any errors, you can report cotton errors, okay? Now, some problems have videos. Not all of them have videos, but some of them do. If a problem has a video, it has a show me how video here, and then you can access it. In this video, we will learn to compute employees' wages. Okay. So, um, there's different resources for different problems. Um, so you just go through all of the problems. You have your examples that you can follow, information, and then you answer it. And you have five check my works. So these are all of the problems in for your chapter two homework. So let's say I started my homework and I'm not gonna finish. I need to go to work, okay? You have several options down here. You have one that says email instructor. If you have a question, you can email me and I'll be able to see what you emailed me. Um, you have save and exit. So if I wanna save my work and exit, that's the one I'm gonna do. If I am ready, for, I've completed all of my problems and I want it to be graded, then I do submit assignment for grading, okay? Those are your options. If you save and exit, you can resume it at a later time. If you're ready to submit for grading, then you do the submit for grading option, okay? So that is how a homework assignment looks like. Now let me show you how a quiz looks like, okay? So a quiz is gonna be 15 multiple choice fill in the blank questions. So you just basically answer each of the questions. Um, you have different drop down options. Um, and you just you know, click your answers and it'll automatically here. Remember for the quizzes, you have 60 minutes to complete them. Um, and you only have the option to submit for grading. These you can save. If you start it, you must finish it, okay? Now, very important, on your test, okay? On your test, you do not have check my works, okay? On your test, um, you have to complete the test and you have no tries, okay? So basically you have to complete the whole thing and you don't have no check my works available. By now, you should know how to complete these problems. Why? Because they've been in your homework, you've got the answers to your problems so you can study, prepare, and know how to do these problems. For, for the test, you will not have check my works, okay? So these are your different assignments. 
as the assignments are completed, your gradebook in Cengage will be updated. Now, um, once you submit your assignment, not only will your grade appear in um, Cengage, but it will also appear on your uh, grade center. Okay? It will also appear on your uh, gradebook. Okay? Automatically, the information from uh, Cengage will flow into the gradebook. Okay? Okay, now um, I also wanted to show you here uh, for Cengage. Okay? You can access Cengage through the main page by clicking this icon, or I've created a folder called Cengage Login Assignments. Okay? And there you have access to all of your assignments. So if you want to do chapter one quiz, you just click here and it'll take you directly to the quiz. If you want to do chapter three homework, um, you click it and it'll take it to you. Now remember, if you click on it and the assignment is not available, you won't have access to it. You will only have access to the assignments that are available, okay? If you need any questions or if you have any issues with Cengage and you need any technical support, you can click that link. Um, if you need access to the ebook, you can um, access the ebook directly from this button right here. Um, so this is just, I made it easy for students to be able to navigate the content in Cengage from within Blackboard, okay? So um, all of this information is available. Let me, let me go ahead and do student view, okay? So um, like I said, your grades, this is what your grade book is going to look like. And as you complete your assignments on Cengage, the grades are going to come in here and they're automatically going to be filled in. Okay. So this is the grade book that you need to look at. Your Blackboard grade book. If you identify a discrepancy, an error on how your grades flow uh, in from Cengage, please let me know so I can make any necessary corrections. Okay. So. I've already showed you all of the information, how to access Cengage, um, your syllabus, please print it out. Uh, please read over all of this information. Please, when you're working on your assignments, um, please listen to those videos that I've created for you. Um, they are very helpful. Um, they do explain content um, that might not have been covered in the Show Me How videos in Cengage. So please take the time to listen to those videos. Um, I spent some time trying to help you out and um, explaining in depth how to solve your problems. Okay. Please, if you have any questions during the semester, do not hesitate to contact me. Communicate with me. You know, um, message me, call me, text me, whatever it is that you need to do. We have five weeks to get this done. Very doable but it requires a lot of time commitment from you, okay? We are covering a semester's worth of content in five short weeks, okay? So I need all students' utmost attention, commitment, and dedication to my course, okay? So I look forward to a great summer one session with you. Um, like I said, my name is Mrs. Mercado, and I am here to help you in anything that I can, okay? But if you don't communicate with me, I don't have a mind reader license yet, so I don't know what's going on in your life. You need to let me know. We can talk it out. We can create a plan, and we can make things happen, okay? So this is a collaborative effort between the instructor and the student, okay? I wish you all the best of luck. Please stay safe with all of this COVID-19 that's going out out there. Um, and till uh, next time, okay? Thank you very much.